Hi, I'm Evelyn Cucciara from OrganizeWithEvelyn.com and also author of the book 30 Days to an Organized Home. I'm here today to talk to you about how to organize your home files. First of all, you don't need to keep half the things you think you need to keep. You no longer need to keep credit card receipts, you don't need to keep electric bills, anything that you can find on a computer somewhere, you don't need to keep a paper copy of. It's much easier to find something on a computer than it is in a, somewhere in a pile in your home. So once you've gone through your piles, you've decluttered it, you've pared it down to something doable, then you need somewhere to put it. Okay, you can use a file drawer. This is one that I have. It kind of looks like an old suitcase. But if you don't need that many, you can work with something smaller like this or one of these portable ones if you need to take your files somewhere. That works fine too. It all depends what works for you. What might work for your neighbor might not work for you. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It just matters how it functions. All right. So you've got what you want to put your files into, you've got your piles, uh, I'm sorry, you've got your pile down to a manageable size. You need to sort them out. You need to take your pile, go through it, say this needs to be filed under houses, this needs to be filed under recipes, this needs to be filed under whatever you might happen to need. I tend to keep a lot of files for different decorating ideas, different projects I'm working on, different recipes, different paperwork from lawyers, all depends whatever piles you need. Figure out, sort them out, very simple. Then you need labels. You must label your files or you're never going to know what is what. For example, this file is labeled day trips. Okay? I do a lot of day trips with my kids, so clearly says day trip ideas on it. When I need a day trip idea, I go right to the file and find it. Um, when you have a lot of big piles of files, you can't possibly get them all done in one day. Take a little bit at a time, one pile a day, one pile a week, sort it out while you're doing some television watching, anything that makes it so you can get through the pile that you have. Once you have your system set up, then it'll be easy each week to just simply put the papers where you need them to be. And that's it. Take it a little bite at a time, organize it, life will be easier. This is Evelyn Cucciara from Organizing with Evelyn. Be organized.